Jim now drives the bots over to the side of the deck where people muster to get into the lifeboats. One of the enduring mysteries of the tragedy is why so many people did not get into the lifeboats. It's impossible to come up with a definitive answer. But with more than 30 trips down to the wreck, Cameron probably has a better idea than anyone what it felt like to be there that night. And as the, as the passengers came out, they were mustered on deck by the officers, and they were told to, um, to get into the lifeboats, ladies, ladies uh, first, women and children first, and they didn't want to go, and I'll show you why. This is right adjacent to boat six, so if I was, if I was a passenger on Titanic uh, on that night, I would look over here, be looking out into a, a big black night, a big black unlit sea, and right over that edge would be a sheer drop to the water, 60 feet, right? So I'd be looking down, just like this, into nothingness. I would see nothing down there. And I'd think, man, I'm just a whole lot safer on this ship. And the officer's trying to get me to get into boat six right here, which was the first one launched from, from the port side here. And I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, I don't think so. It looks a whole lot safer back here in this nice warm ship with all the lights on, right? So people didn't get in the lifeboats. Yeah. It took them forever to get the first couple boats launched. Titanic carried 20 lifeboats, each capable of holding up to 65 people. In theory, they should have been able to save about 1,200 of the 2,228 passengers and crew on board. But when the survivors were finally counted, it emerged there were about 400 empty spaces in the lifeboats. The first lifeboat to leave the wreck was less than half full. It's very strange to be, you know, on the boat deck of Titanic. The other, the other sub hadn't, hadn't joined us yet. And looking back and seeing all those window, windows lit up, you know, it's like there was somebody in there. 